Hello and welcome to What's In Your Music Collection album review. Um, this is going to be something I'm going to try and do as often as I can, as well as organise the Hangouts on Air, which I know we haven't had for a while. And I thought this would be a good way of looking at some uh, releases in depth, especially ones where a flat photograph doesn't seem to do it justice. Um, what I'm going to do for this particular episode is look at the Rainbow box set called A Light in a Black. Um, this has been out now a few months, and as many of you know, that I'm a big Deep Purple family fan. So obviously the Rainbow box set was something that was on my radar when I saw it was coming out. It's actually made of actually six discs, uh, five CDs and one DVD. It's a pretty sturdy box, so it's not going to get squished or anything. So it's it's substantial. And I think in the UK, it ranges from about 35 to 45 pounds. I would say it's worth about 30, 35 pounds, to be quite honest with you. Right. So what's in the box? Well, in the box is the first thing you find is a book. And it is a hardback book, which is cool, because uh, normally these things are quite flimsy. Um, but this actually is a proper a proper book. Um, as you can see, there's quite a quite a lot of information in there, and it is very well laid back, laid out in um, chronological order and when things happened. But this is where the first issue comes along, if you like, because on page fifteen. It mentions the fact that they've managed to source um, uh, it, Kill the King and Light in the Black from rehearsal tapes. And Light in the Black is one of the key tracks to those Rainbow fans who love the Ronnie James Dio era. And in fact, as you could probably see, that the box is actually called A Light in the Black. So it becomes a bit of a disappointment when you find out that Light in the Black and Kill the King are not featured on this box set at all. Um, I can only presume that at the last minute somebody, the powers that be, said maybe we should keep those tracks for something else. And that is a little bit of a disappointment. Anyway, what else is in the box? Um, also in the box is a poster. I've never really, I'm not really a big fan of this because if you're into posters, which some people probably are, this is from the 1980 uh, Monsters of Rock uh, festival a gig, which I was lucky enough to be there many, many years ago. But these posters are always folded into several compartments, so they're full of creases. So it's not it's something you're going to look at once, uh, but you're not really going to put it on the wall or anything. Also in the box is a program, miniaturized, but nevertheless, a program. And this is a program from the Straight Between the Eyes tour, uh, which is 1982. So this is when it was really Rainbow were really getting into AOR and going for the kind of commercial route. So some people might have preferred to see the Rainbow Rising tour program, but I have a feeling that's been held back for something else, especially as Light in the Black and Kill the King are not on this release. That brings us to the discs, of which there are six of them. Disc number one focuses on the first Rainbow album and goes into uh, Rainbow Rising. So you've got like the best of um, Cherry Pick there, uh, 16th Century Green Seas, Temple of the King, and you've got some rough mixes and some live stuff from Japan as well. Uh, some of that is already on the deluxe edition of the live album, but one of the tracks isn't. Uh, then you've got disc number two. This focuses on the long live rock and roll period. And there are some live tracks here, um, which from from Japan and also some rehearsal stuff which some of it you may have heard from uh, Rainbow Rising Deluxe but there are some also new tracks on there as well. The third disc features the 1979 lineup featuring uh, Gary Bonnet and there's um, some instrumental stuff which was on the Deluxe edition of Down to Earth but there is some live stuff from America uh, which I also believe is probably going to come out um, towards the end of the year anyway on a different box set. You can see there's a trend here. And Light in the Black Disc 4, 1981-82, so this is the kind of uh, straight between the eyes stuff. There's some live stuff from Hammersmith Odeon in London, which is unreleased. And San Antonio, Texas was a DVD, so some of you who've got a lot of things will know about that already. And then the last the CD, rather, disc number five, features Bent Out of Shape, and there's a lot of live stuff from Cardiff and Wales, some stuff from the 
last uh, DVD in Japan, 1984, and some outtakes and stuff. And the bit that many fans probably were really keen to get is actually this, um, which is the DVD from where the poster was illustrated, um, Castle Donington. Unfortunately, this is all that exists, what was shown actually on the TV all those years ago. Um, excuse the cat in the background, he's trying to get into rock and roll as we speak. Uh, but it is nevertheless, it's been cleaned up and it is worth watching. So that's, um, that's the box set. Um, am I pleased I bought it? Yes, I am. Um, I, I think it's it fits me in well my collection and there's enough stuff on there for me if, if someone has got all the albums for me to be interested in and it's been well put together the only thing is that not putting a light on the black on even the studio version seems to be a little bit of an oversight but anyway i hope you find that useful and i'll see you on the next review so thank you very much